Hello there, uh, my name is Isma. So today we're going to be starting a texturing uh, series that is focused mainly on texturing in Blender. Uh, so yeah, uh, we're going to be making this uh, scene here, but uh, I'm going to try and do it differently this time. Instead of first modeling uh, everything, uh, because this tutorial or this training series is going to be focused mainly on texturing, I'm just going to model parts and texture them and then maybe we can put everything together later as uh, yeah so this is we're going to be modeling let me first get this iphone thing out of the way yeah so for example we're going to ma uh, model this uh, support beam uh separate and uh, texture that and then ma maybe model the floor not the entire floor from here to there uh, what i'm going to do is uh uh, because I've been watching a lot of Unreal Engine level designs and uh, what they do, they don't uh, model the entire thing in one go. Uh, so you have different uh, parts uh, that you put together uh, to make this entire scene uh, whatever you want it to be. And uh, the, the, uh, the great thing about this way of doing things is that uh, you can change the design uh, of uh, what, whatever you're building uh, very easily. So say you want... Uh, instead of this hallway going just straight, uh, this way, this road or whatever you want to call it, walk path, uh, going straight like this, uh, because if you are doing modular, uh, if you model these uh, modu modules uh, that uh, you can put together, uh, you can just make this angle and go this side, and uh, you, would, you wouldn't have to model everything again. You would just have to change uh, the way you have these uh, pieces put together. Uh, so yeah, let's dive in and start uh, by making this uh, beam here. And uh, yeah, let's open up Blender. I have this already in my reference images. I'll turn on, let me make sure that uh, my audio is good. And uh, we'll have my uh, this here on my second screen. And uh, yeah, let's start. I, switch, I will switch on uh, screen keys so that you can see what I'm doing here. And uh, yeah, let's begin. I think we should uh, use uh, some measurements uh, for these real world measurements. So let me, let me get, uh, let me see if I can find a uh, subway, subway tunnel height, just so that we, so it's about 12 feet, which is feet uh, to meters. Let me get a, a human silhouette uh, figure, PNG, for reference. Okay, I'm not sure why my internet is very slow right now. Okay, let's begin the next part uh, when I have everything, uh, the dimensions and uh, that uh, human figure reference uh, set up. 